Okay, <clears throat> greetings to you all once again in the name of the Most High. I greet you, one and all, amidst all that takes place upon this earth. Such a time as this, um, amazing, amazing, incredible times, times of flux, times of change, times where people are losing heart. But uh, take heart, for um, he has overcome the world and we overcome the world. Greater works shall we do because we, um, the kingdom is within and that kingdom is on and being manifest in and through us upon the earth at such a time as this. So it's not a time to be dismayed. It's a time to understand what's going on, where we are, and engage. You know, as you take action, things change. You know, you've got to you've got to look and see what the world is trying to get you to do. And whenever you see and understand what the world is trying to get you to do, it's very likely the opposite of that is probably the best thing for you. Is probably the opposite of it is probably the thing that's actually going to help you. Is actually going to make the difference. So when they try to get you to sit back and wait, get your popcorn, watch the show, hide, don't, then it's probably the opposite that's going to be better, which is um, you take action. You go with the little bit that you know. You may not understand everything, but you do the thing that you can do today. And in doing that, the next thing will open up. The next step will open up. You know, that's that's much more uh, likely the way that you will see the path to freedom. Because usually what happens is they will instruct you against your best interest. They... they will um, give you uh, mandates that are against what's actually good for you. Isn't it amazing with all the things that that they're setting? All you got to do is just wait on some of those things. That can be an action if it's done on purpose. So um, out, you got to outlast. And in outlasting, you take your action. So you, you take your actions proactively. You build the things that need to be built, but you have to outlast them as well. So we're not sitting on the sidelines waiting. We're actively engaged to outlast the enemies of our soul. The they. You had a buddy the other day, he was like, okay, who's the they? <clears throat> well, when we start speaking about they, they is a very broad, encompassing, easy way to categorize that which is against humanity, that which is against you. But how that manifests, it manifests in different ways and in different contexts. They can be, um, the negative they can be spiritual, can be physical and physical entities that are established, physical presences, companies, organizations that are anti-human. Uh, but these are ultimately the past and waning control structures that are trying to hold on to their power and their control. That is the they. And the things that they do uh, to, to try to keep humanity from advancing, from progressing, from coming into its own. So... The they is not your friend. The they is your enemy. The they is um, that which has established itself on the other side and against you and your well-being, your flourishing, your maximization. The they is that which has, which sees you as cattle and a resource to be branded and extracted. So that's they. Who are they? Um, it's a mixture of spiritual, um, some in some cases off-world, um, and human entities and organizations split into government actors and also uh, corporate and human agents that fulfill these anti-human agendas, anti-God, anti-source, anti-creator agendas. 
to corrupt, to steal, to obfuscate that which is the organic, the real, the true, to try to steer things into a different direction. So you can you can look at and and here's the thing, you can tell who the they is by their actions. You'll know a tree by its fruit, right? You'll know the they by their spiritual alignment and the manifestation of that. You know, another part that, that's always interesting is how a lot of people don't realize that they themselves, through their own actions and their own behaviors, are part of the they. When people go along to get along, and don't stand for truth, don't stand for what's right, don't, um, the, you, you become part of the day. When you, do, when you go against your own conscience, you're, you're doing a they. And, you know, it, it's, it gets harder for people. I, I really, I, I have empathy right now for a lot of people that are stuck because they were they're in the debt trap or they've built a career and they're just trying to keep things going they've got a family they've got a mortgage and you know this stuff is being put on them and they don't know how they're going to they don't want to lose the house you know the family's putting pressure on them to to do something how are you going to put your family in jeopardy it's just a shot right don't believe those wild conspiracy theorists i have empathy you know, but the empathy is is not going to stop the facts of the matter, and is not going to hide you from the dangers. I, I have I have empathy for people that get shot up on a battlefield, but it doesn't mean that the shrapnel is not going to fall. You know, it do, doesn't mean that 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 that's not going. You know, I I hate it. But that's the reality. So, you know, we have to be dealing with the reality of the situations. For the people that are in these tough positions, you know, as much as possible, find ways. You know, talk to your friends, mobilize your communities. You may have to, um, you may have to downsize. You may have to scroll back your life a bit in order to survive. You know. Maybe you'll have to sell the house or lose the house. You know, it's just a thing. So, you know, a lot of systems are are coming apart. A lot of systems are coming down. You know, war is not comfortable, people. It's not a video game. There's a lot of hardships. And people, especially I think in the West, have been sort of, haven't seen that side of things for a long time because, you know, things have been good. People have had the time to to um, really not have to deal with a lot of things that are uncomfortable for them and then come up with things to be offended by. Instead of solving these things around the world and putting our energy and our attention and our time and our focus into making the world something better for all the people that were suffering, we let ourselves get wrapped up in um, mental gymnastics and all kinds of uh, just stupidity. You know, people, they're, they're all of their, um, all of the things that they told us that should be priorities which were not people being offended by nothing when we actually have real problems and real issues that should be addressed you know we've got infrastructure issues we've got um, health and wellness issues we've got um, people that are really struggling that need to be taken care of um there's there's a there's a ton of things. There's the I mean the trafficking issue that's continued to 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 be what it is. 
all of those things those those need to be addressed those are those are problems those are issues those are 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 should have been the kind of things where we were putting our focus and our attention instead um, you know people got wrapped up in the the, the football game um, and divide and con- conquer programming uh, by the controllers, which was designed to do what? Wrap up your attention. Get your attention on things that don't matter so that you can't put your attention on the things that do matter. You understand? See, if, if, you, if you put your attention on the TV screen, you can't put your attention on a book or your child. Or a phone call with somebody else. Just that's just the nature of it. Wherever you put your attention, that's what you know. That's what has your attention. So there's always been this grab. If you if you're listening to this, if you're engaged in listening to this, you know, it's there's other things you won't be able to listen to. You can't have four podcasts going at the same time. You can't. I mean you. You won't absorb any of them. So, the battle for your attention, and look at what they did with that. They took that and wrapped it into divide and control programming. So they grab your attention, shiny bells and whistles, and then gets you into divide and control, divide and conquer programming, and getting everybody woke and angry and at each other's throats while the actual enemies that you have of your soul are destroying you. In the future, it's going to be far more important for people to be vigilant and to be be engaged beyond just their own little life and their own little world. The fact that people let this go this far should be the wake-up call. The fact that people were lulled into sleep and into complacency because of some level of prosperity, um, things being okay around them that they just didn't look. They didn't bother to look. It's always been in that midnight hour, that quiet time, that our people's rights have just been snatched away from underneath them. 1913, December, uh, was, you know, on, I believe it was the winter, winter holiday break in Congress, was when um, the president and the bankers got together and uh, signed it off to create things that would be destructive for the American people. People didn't know it. You've got to, you, you, very, very, very often it's going to be when the things that they make a loud noise about, look over here, look over here, look over here. Meanwhile, the things that are quiet, those are the things you should be paying attention to. So right now, you know, Omicron, whatever, variant du jour. I just call it variant du jour. The variant of the day. Ah, look, it's the variant du jour. That's the new one. Um, But at the same time, and this one, 50 times more. Every one of them is 50 times more contagious than the last one. I mean, these ones are so contagious, they can jump out to the moon and back. You know, in, a, in two seconds. So contagious. Um, fine. At this point, exponential, right? Fine. Okay. Um, that being the case... Oh, shoot. Um, that being the case, how now are you going to be able to... Um, If that's the case of this stuff being also so so um, dangerous and terrible, but in the meantime, what are the things that they're 
making sure that you don't look at? Well, you're not looking at um, who's on the list of people that are being named at the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, all the worlders and all the controllers. You're not seeing them. How many CEOs that are stepping down from their positions right now in the backlash of all of this? People being named. People are trying to cut and run. Get their best deal. Uh, you know, it's, it's always a distraction anytime to try to keep people away from looking at the things that the controllers don't want you to look at. Because blackmail has been the system. This shouldn't be hard to understand at this point. Blackmail has been the system. Um, you know, people in positions of power and decision-making positions, blackmail, corruption, uh, seducement, control, that's always been the way. You know, stick and carrot. Here, there's something that's so damaging and so terrible <clears throat> that um, you're never going to be able to get away from so here's what we're going to show the whole world So, or, or if you don't want that to come out you can just play ball with us and we'll give you tens of millions of dollars to make the decisions that we want you to make when we want you to make them and most people without a moral compass okay that's the way they go but now, as everything's coming into the light, the rats are jumping ship, there's nowhere for them to go. Now what? So, so now they're just trying to buy time, keep people away from it. But the thing is, people are looking at this. They are asking questions. Why don't we have a functional justice system? Now that it, one set of questions leads to another one. This is why the whole thing's going to come apart on all these levels because as one thing unravels other stuff unravels how do you not have a functional justice system all the surveillance and national security why is it not able to pick up a bunch of raving perverts trafficking children and raping them on islands and you think that's the only place that this has ever gone on no systemic problem systemic issue all these people cover up for each other so they'll throw the guy in jail that steals a couple oranges, but the guy that's raping kids and part of a billion dollar network, he does it every weekend. And the bodies go, um, disappear. You know, I had a thought the other day, and I have no way to verify this one at all, but just, there was a guy that lost a Bitcoin wallet in England, and um, he was, it had like $350 million worth in there, <clears throat> and he wanted to go dig around in the town dump, and he offered them a lot of money to be able to do it, and, you know, they didn't want him to dig around in the dump, now why, um, you know, it's no loss for them, he's got a plan, he's got um, backing, he's got environmental things that are all sorted. Wh why? Well, part of me wonders if there's other things that they don't want him to find in there. You can't just not find bodies that have been thrown away in there while you're digging around for a hard drive and not say something, right? Anyways, um, there's a lot of lot of things that people, um, the world that we live in. But I do believe all of this is coming up for a change, and in the change, um, it's going to be absolutely wild and crazy and incredible and amazing, and life we can structure and have the world that we want. But it's going to be happening through the actions that we take. And we take them together. Um, outlast the controllers. 
we do not give our consent to any of this garbage. And um, you got to know what you believe and why, and you got to stand for that. And stand with each other. We got to have each other's back. Okay, it's important. All right, love you guys. God bless you. Talk to you again sometime soon. Bye. Oh, and drop us an email, faithmixgmail.com. We always love to hear from you. Talk to you later. Bye.